G'day guys, M10 Time here. Today we're going to be learning about basic texturing in uh, the ren in the Cycles Render Engine in Blender. Here is a quick overview of the textures, basic textures we'll be going. Uh, the first is a standard diffuse, glass, glossy, translucent, transparent, velvets, emission and mix. Uh, these materials you'll be using quite often. Each um, option has its own separate parameters you can choose from. And um, yeah, let's get started. So we'll go to a new slate and um, just uh, call this one set so your scene up like this. Select your monkey and call this, uh, leave that diffuse. Select the next one, press plus and change it to a glossy. Control G that. Press plus again and go to glossy and then press glass. Control D, uh, shift D that. Press plus and then go to translucent. Shift D and move that to the side. Plus, press plus. And go to velvet. Is it velvet? Translucent velvet. Yep. And again. And go to emissions. And this time, press shift again. Put 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 the uh, mix shader in the middle. Now press Z. No, press five to get into an isometric, into a dif different perspective. And press rendered and change this to GPU if you have a NVIDIA card. Alright, so as you can see, these are the default ones. If you want to, you can change uh, the color of each one just to make it much more randomized. For simplicity's sake, I'm not. So these are the default textures that once you've pressed your material, these will come up. However, there are different more options you can choose from. For the first one, the Diffuse doesn't have diffuse is just diffuse. Diffuse doesn't have any attributes to it. No reflection, refraction, nothing. It's just plain. So there's not many options apart from colouring. Glossy, however, um, there is the first one. The first one is Beckman. Beckman is like a a different kind of profile setting to a glossy material. There's Beckman. Sharp is obviously much more sharper if we can see here sharp Beckman is much more uh, blurred out and GXX is much more blurred but it seems that the sides are much more I tend to go to sharp because obviously with glossy materials I want it to be sharp but if I'm working with blurred such as plastic blurred or scratch blurred I would probably use the uh, standard Beckman. Beckman and you can change the roughness of it. Roughness is pretty much how much um, reflection you're giving it. So if you're going to make a mirror, you would uh, go to white, you go to sharp, put the roughness all the way down to zero, and voila. And if you put it all, if you go to uh, Beckman, and you go all the way up, you would get an almost diffuse uh, um, texture. So that is a glossy, so since it's glossy we'll change it all the way to uh, that. Alright, so next is uh, glass. Um, same here, it has the same uh, distribution settings, GXS, it's kind of a, for glass it looks like a translucent, but that's just the blurred of it. There's also Beckman and Sharp. Um, so you, you should already know the distribution. Um, roughness is pretty much the blurring of the uh, glass material. I don't know if you've seen any cupboards, but the, um, some of it's blurred. You can like see almost see through it like the shower curtain, shower glasses. A very nice effect to it. So that's the roughness for you. So if you're making a standard glass, you put the roughness all the way down. 
put it to two or one. IOR is the uh, I call the IOR the level of distortion. It, that's obviously uh, technically wrong. Technically, there's a better meaning for it, but when I'm messing in an octane render, I call it the level of distortion to my glass. So, yep. Um, so, if you want to have a glass, we can just put all this to white. We would get a good uh, angle here. We would want to put the roughness all the way down and put the IOR to about almost a standard. A bit more up if you want more. It's probably too much. Found there that's 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 almost a bit that's alright. That's pretty good. If you put a fluid simulation it would look extremely hot. And if you would see down here you can see the caustics showing up. Bit too dark, but it's around here, it's showing up around here. Okay, so that is the glass material attributes. The next one is uh, transluc translucent. Um, just like the fuse, it doesn't have uh, parameters, however, translucent is good for skin type textures. So if I get this emission and put it here. As you can see, the translucent material is kind of sucking in the lights, like how you would pour a torch to your fingers. And that looks really cool. So that's translucent. You can also mix translucent with uh, other stuff, but we'll get to that later. And over here is a velvet. Velvet is a, uh, well, kind of a, a very fascinating texture to it. it the material properties. I don't really understand, but it sort of has that diffuse and glossy feel to it. How the highlights is kind of almost shiny and the shadows is much more diffuse. And you can change the attributes like this, the Signa. And you can also merge this with others and you can get the most magnificent results. looks really cool. So let's just change this light. And that's velvet. Uh, emissions is mesh based lighting. Um, it's pretty much an emitter in a scene. So if you want to change it with a plane or for room settings this is the way to go. You can change the strength of it to uh, whatever you see fit. And you can also change the colour of it. Now for some reason there's a glitch that how it's white here, but when you go all the way up, it turns like that for some reason. But you can also you can change the lighting of it, and we'll get into a more in-depth tutorial on that soon. And let's just put this back to about 50. Now mix material, mix shader. Now in mix shader we're going to have to use the node editor. So for the mixed texture, it's pretty much merging two textures together. So like I said, we're going to add a translucent material and a velvet material too. And if we put this here and put this here and let's put this light source over here. Now for the uh, translucent will pick a red and for the velvet we'll choose a blue and as you can see these textures are working together and as you can see light is the translucent is soaking up the light while the velvet is giving that effect to it and with the frac you can choose which one gets higher of the other so frac 1 is full velvet and frac 0 is full translucent and we'd want to put that in the middle. Uh, you can also try this for um, glossy and diffuse. So let's de delete these two and add a oh, hang on, glass and glossy. So let's put that here and put that here. So it's sort of a um, put the 
class to about uh, like that, and let's put this to a, a green. So as you can see, it's a glass material, but with a glossy reflection to it. So it's uh, let's put the glass to uh, a sharp, with the IOR at about 1.8, with the uh, roughness to full roughness. That looks magnificent. And change the frack. Marvelous. Now for the next one is add shader. Add shader is pretty much um, you're adding two values, uh, whether it be glossy or um, glass or diffuse, and you're pretty much making it stronger than the other, stronger or brighter. And it, the result kind of evens them out. This is called an add shader or add closure, if you would, if you must. So um, let's choose a uh, I don't know, glossy and let's choose a uh, glass. Merge these two together. And here, let's change this to that. Let's change this to this. Oh no, different one, red. As you can see, with the other one, uh, it was much more darker, and with this one, it's much more lighter, I would guess. And that result right there is magnificent. Add shader, and, we, and you can also add multiple add shaders, so uh, let's try and see, add another add shader. And you can also... Uh, Let's add a, let's go a bit crazy here. Let's add a mix shader. And you can also add this to, put this here, put this here, put this there. <laughs> That's crazy. So yeah, just um, experiment with your mix shaders, add shader, and um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, that. Next is uh, what am I else am I forgetting? Uh, holdout. Holdout is pretty much locking your, pretty much giving it no um, shade to it. All light bounces are just ignoring it. There's no re reflection, reflection. Just like uh, almost like a diffuse. However, with diffuse. Uh, yeah, pretty much just like diffuse, except uh, you have no um, options to change anything. It's just black, so uh, that's very sad. Oh wait a minute, yeah, just black. So that's pretty much the basics of basic texturing. So enjoy and um, yeah.